Welcome to another BarkVideo.com tutorial. My name is Joachim and today I'll show you how to work with textures in After Effects. And you'll also get a very first glimpse of the very first scene from part one of our soon to be released animation, The Secret to Dominating the Web. But before we get started, uh, let me just take a minute to say thank you. Thank you so, so much for all the likes on our Facebook page. It really means a lot to us um, to be able to you know, get our animations and tutorials and blog posts out to as many people as possible. So, you know, thanks, thanks a lot for liking and sharing our content. And we promise to post a lot of useful content in the future and, you know, both regarding marketing, but definitely also regarding design and animation. And yeah, whoops. So yeah, thanks for, uh, <laughs> I made this little graphic here. Thanks for liking on us on Facebook. Um, really appreciate it. Uh, all right, let's do this. First off, you need to create some artwork in Illustrator. And as you'll notice, I already made something here. And make sure you put everything in its own layer. That means uh, anything that you want to be able to work with independently in After Effects. All right, so let's move on into After Effects and import our our graphics. File, import, file, and select it from your drive here. And make sure you import it as composition and retain the layer sizes right there. Okie dokie. Double click the comp, open it up, and there we have it. Now what we want to do is import our textures into After Effects. And I'm just going to create a folder here and Call it textures. And what I have here is are some of the textures that I selected from the secret to dominating the web project folder. So these are actually some, these are some of the actual textures that we've been using in the, uh, in the animation there. Obviously you're gonna have some different textures, but you know, uh, just select all the texture files that you that you want to use and drag them into the textures folder in After Effects. And there we have it. Let's just start out by this large green tree here, shall we? So what you want to do is select the layer down here for that particular tree and hit Command D on a Mac or Control D on a PC. And what that's going to do is going, it's going to duplicate that layer. So as you'll notice, we now have two copies of this green tree. Then decide on what texture that you want to apply to that tree. I think this wooden fabric texture is pretty cool actually, so I'm just going to drag that in between these two duplicates here, like so. And now the reason why I made a duplicate of the tree is that we'll be using this top duplicate as a mask for this texture. So, you know, obviously we want this texture to only be visible on this tree object itself and not, you know, as it is right now, all over the place. So. What we're going to do is select the texture down here, and if you don't have the layer uh, mode switched, you can always toggle the switches here to reveal. Uh, let us just drag this out here to reveal the uh, track mat drop down menu for that layer. So I'm going to click. I'm going to you know make sure that I'm on the texture layer here, and I'm going to click the track mat drop down menu, and I'm going to select alpha mat tree 6, which is going to make the layer just above this texture layer, uh, the mask for the texture here. Boom! Alright, so we applied the texture to the tree, but uh, right now it's a little bit intense actually, so it'll be a good idea to you know play around with some blending modes here so we can blend this texture down to the original color of, uh, let's see, of this green color here on the original uh, vector shape tree. So. Still with the texture layer selected, we can go into this blending mode drop down menu just to the left of our track map and select that. And let's try some maybe the overlay blending mode, which works pretty good for, uh, for this uh, purpose here. And then you can press T to bring out the opacity options for the layer and you can maybe turn down the opacity a little bit if you want that or just leave it up here if you want. You know, maybe it wouldn't hurt just to put it down to 75 or something like that. All right, that looks pretty good. So the final thing that we need to do right now is to select the mask and the texture 
layer and then take the pick whip here and parent those to the original tree down here which is tree 5. So every time you move tree 5 both the uh, mask and the texture will follow. And this is pretty important if you want to be able to move uh, the uh, elements that you've texturized because if you don't parent them um, let me just give an example here. If we unparent them and we move the original tree, you'll see the texture and the mask, they're just going to stay put. But if we parent them and we move tree number five, it's going to follow, which is great. All we need to do now is apply textures to all the rest of these items, but I'm not going to do that uh, because it's basically, you know, it's 100% the same procedure that you just saw me do here. But, um, yeah, this is uh, the technique that we used in The Secret to Dominating the Web animation. And I hope you'll be able to use it in your own projects also. Uh, we've tried and tested this method, and it works perfectly. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more BarkVideo.com tutorials in the future, because we will make them.